Hi guys! Welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. Happy New Year. Today's first recipe for 2020 is going to be a very easy dessert and it is chocolate chip cookie in a cup. So come along with me and let's get started. So maybe you ate too much over the holidays, or you're just looking for some good portion control, or you just want something easy. Any of those would fit for this particular dessert. It only has a couple of ingredients, and everything is done in the microwave, so you will not even be using your oven. This recipe was not actually a ketogenic recipe. This was just a recipe for people who wanted something simple that could just be made and put in the microwave. Several years ago, about 20 years ago, even, well, and even nowadays, you can go into Walmart and you can find um, things like Pillsbury and Duncan Hines will make individual mug cake recipes or things that you can just use individually to make quickly in the microwave. So this is along that same idea, but this has been made into a ketogenically safe product because I'm going to be using almond flours and I'm going to be using natural sweeteners instead of regular wheat flour and sugar. So... Unlike our usual videos, we do not need to preheat the oven to any temperature because all of this is going to be done on the countertop and in the microwave. So, the first thing that we need to do is we need to melt a tablespoon of butter. So I'm using 12 fluid ounces. Mine is more of a cup versus a mug, but you could definitely use a mug if you preferred, but mine is a cup. And so we are going to melt one tablespoon of butter in our cup and that's going to take about 30 seconds in the microwave. And you want your butter to be melted, but not boiling. Right. So our butter is melted. So the next thing that we want to add to our melted butter is our sweeteners. So I want a tablespoon of white granulated sweetener. You could use powdered if you wanted, but I have some granulated, so I'm going to use that. And I'm also going to use a brown sugar alternative. I'm trying a new one, and this one is by So Nourished, and they now have a brown sugar alternative. So you want a tablespoon of each, so a tablespoon of white, and a tablespoon of the brown. And you're going to stir very well and get your sugars combined. So there is our sweetener and our butter. The next thing we want is vanilla. And I'm going to be adding about a half a teaspoon or a cap and we want to stir that in more. Okay, so our next ingredient is going to be our egg. So I have found for this recipe that using just the yolk instead of the white makes a better cookie product. Sometimes using the white can make it a little rubbery, so we're only going to be using our yolk. So I am going to separate our egg and only put the yolk into our chocolate chip cookie in a cup. And the easiest way to do that is try and crack your egg into two pieces and then you just go cup to cup and you'll see that the white falls away and leaves you just the yolk. So the white is left in the bowl and we're putting our yolk into our cup. And we want to stir this very well. scraping the sides of our cup. Now we need to add our flour. And we're going to be using a scant quarter of a cup, so you don't need to heavily pack this. And we're going to be using almond flour in this step. So there's our flour, and once again, we need to combine this very well. Okay. 
and we want to make sure that there are no lumps in this. Now the last thing that we want to do before we put it in the microwave is to add our chocolate chips. Now I'm going to be using Lily's and I'm using the semi-sweet baking chips. Now um, the other night CJ used white chips which you could absolutely use if you preferred that. Just keep in mind that it does change the texture and it makes the chocolate chip cookie in a cup a lot more intensely sweet. So if you're going to be using white chips you might want to consider um, cutting down on your natural sweeteners to compensate for the white chips because they are a bit sweeter. This is a semi-sweet product, so it's not quite as sweet. So I'm going to sprinkle in about a tablespoon and I'm going to stir it around. Making sure that I scrape the sides well. Okay, now I'm going to sprinkle a few more on the top because I find that that gives a nice gooey chocolatiness after you microwave it. So there is our chocolate chip cookie in a cup ready to go into the microwave. Now microwave temperatures vary based on their wattage. Mine is 1100 but it is a few years old so it has gotten a little bit weaker with time. So I have found that between 40 and 60 minutes is the best timing for this chocolate chip cookie in a cup. For my personal microwave, I found that 50 seconds is the best time. You're going to have to experiment with your microwave. Starting with the 40 second mark, you can always heat it a little bit more, but it's better to have a slightly undercooked product than an overcooked product, just like a regular cookie. The microwave we go, and my microwave is 50 seconds. So there's our cookie. You can see that it puffed up and made a nice cookie consistency. And our chocolate chips on the top are nice and ooey and gooey, which is what most people prefer in a chocolate chip cookie. So I'm going to get a spoon and we're going to let CJ have a taste. Hi CJ. Hi. We are going to have chocolate chip cookie in a cup. Wow. Well, yeah. Sounds fancy. Yes, but it's portion controlled, so that's good. That's true. Yeah. All right, so dig in. Tell us what you think. I think it's good. Um, it's really good when it's really warm. Right out of the uh, uh, not oven, microwave. Microwave oven, sure. Yeah, but it's good. This one's cooled off a little bit. Just be real. That's right. because you were taking pictures of it. We were taking pictures of it. <laughs> so this cooled off a little bit, but it's still good. Yeah. I, I like the, the chocolate flavor. It does feel like I'm eating a chocolate chip cookie. Uh, it just happens to be in a cup. Yeah, I like it. And um, I think people will like it because it was super simple to make. Yeah, I think it's a nice portion control, sweet treat, keto safe treat right. that people can have. I think especially if you're doing it all by yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, good job, baby. This, you, I'm glad you uh, converted this recipe over. Thank you. So, good job. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us again tonight, you guys. We hope that you enjoy the chocolate chip cookie in a cup. I know that we definitely have been. We would like you to please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you know when we upload new content. Our new recipes come out on Sundays, and we also have Keto Conversations on Wednesdays. And that's usually where we get together and we discuss different ketogenic topics. Sometimes we have ketogenic food unboxings. Sometimes we have what we eat on keto. It's just a menagerie of different ketogenic topics to help each other on this lifestyle. So we definitely do not want you to miss out on that. We are also on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. And a lot of times we release photographs of dishes that we have made or that we are currently making or ones that we have made in the past and are enjoying again. So definitely join us there so that you will be part of that as well. If you need any further information for this particular recipe, 
all of the macros, the ingredients, also tips and tricks that we have learned from making this recipe can always be found on our blog, and that is cjsketokitchen.com. Most of our recipes are also printable, so head on over there. We hope that you'll come back next time and see us again on CJ's Keto Kitchen, and until then, be well. I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight oh, 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 So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind oh, 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 So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me move